Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a very natural talk about Barbie. I just came out of the cinema and I feel like a lot of people are talking about Barbie and like a lot of things internationally are happening because the marketing team of Barbie is just absolutely crazy and it's everywhere and reviews are coming out and people have opinions but I just wanted to record me after I came out of the cinema it's fresh thoughts, it's not fully processed yet it's just a chit chat really, it's just you and me so let's do this the first chapter of my chit chat I'm gonna call the soundtrack the soundtrack is just absolutely amazing. I don't know how they recruited so many cool people like Billie Eilish and Khalid and Dua Lipa and Nicki Minaj. Like, I don't know what the budget for these artists was, but it was absolutely amazing. And Billie Eilish's song actually is very slow and very feely. Um, and I didn't expect it to fit in that much into the later part of the Barbie movie, but it absolutely did. So that for starters. Secondly, I think we need to talk about the cast. The cast as Margot Robbie is stunning. She brings it across supernatural to be a a doll to be a, a made thing an idea of perfection of Barbie and she feels these feelings and I will not spoil her anything by the way this is just a chit chat about like what I felt and what I think it is about um, and she brings it across amazingly a lot of people were talking about Ryan Gosling and if he really fits Kevin Kevin Ken <laughs> um, and like if he's too old but I think he was perfectly fine I think it worked and I think he was incredibly dramatic and very up in his feels and it was very suitable um, the cast in general was like a lot of cameos and all of that it was just crazy but I just wanted to talk about Barbie and Ken for starters and what I think this movie is about I think it comments on a lot of things first of all it is very open about the fact that Barbie is seen from a lot of like from a modern perspective as not very feminist but it flips that and comments on the fact that Barbie can be anything and Barbie can be a lawyer and a musician and a ballerina and the president and it plays with a lot of gender roles what we think of men in power in Barbie world that is a woman and the men are being neglected and those gender forms and gender dynamics really play into the storyline of the movie and I think it perfectly comments very very smartly actually on the fact that we have gender roles shifting we have women fighting for power right now and we have men not feeling understood and feeling like they're pushed to the side and we have anger from one side and anger from the other in our society instead of finding middle ground and finding a place where everyone feels understood and that is exactly what Barbie is commenting on and I think it's an amazing commentary um, by the way, the movie is very camp for anyone that loves dramatic things or like escaping to another world for anyone that is queer and loves dressing up and losing themselves in makeup and costumes and designs this is the movie for you um, even I am wearing pink, can you imagine that? I went as a purple Barbie, okay? because that's my branding but I put on 
pink eyeshadow. I feel like I deserve some kind of acknowledgement for that. Um, it was my sister that made my makeup, obviously, but let me just get, you know, the recognition. Um, no, I think it was a fascinating movie. I love cinema. Cinema is a world where you can just leave your thoughts and your sorrows for two hours and escape into a world and see what artists want to tell you. You can see what people have thought about with a huge cast, a huge production, amazing script writers and an amazing director named Greta Gerwig. And I am so happy to see a female director slaying the game. I cannot wait to see what people think about this movie. I don't want to rate this movie. Usually I'm the first one to leave the cinema and be like, okay, how many stars? I don't know if I've ever seen something like this in the cinema. And I don't know if I want to rate it because I enjoyed this so much as a cinema experience. And I want to live in this world for a bit longer um, and just appreciate the art and the love that all of these people have put into this movie. Maybe after a bit, like in a few days, I will be like, oh, objectively, this was like that and this was like that. I can be a movie critic in a day or two, but right now I just want to enjoy what I've seen. And I think it was really special. I'm very grateful that something this original went into the cinema. We all know that something that makes money goes into the cinema and that is completely legitimate because we live in a capitalist world. But the fact that this pitch, like that someone pitched this and this got accepted and a, a big budget was invested into this, a, a really creative original movie with an original script is just so special to me. I know this comes from the fact that Greta has proven herself in movies before and people that invest money into movies have seen, oh, like she can make that much money, okay, it might be worth it. It's her track record as well. But I'm grateful that we're seeing something original and different and fresh. And this is a great summer for cinema. I love cinema and I'm just happy right now. And that is my chit chat and I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think about Barbie when it's out um, in your country. Let me know what you think about Bob Barbie, how you have watched it. I watched it with my mom in the cinema in a girl's night. Um, and I watched it in German, which is a bit sad, but I'll watch it in uh, original language again, um, meaning in English. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to watch it with my mom and that is more important to me. So yeah, um, yeah, that's that from me. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.